Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Minecraft video with me, Vanilla Raccoon. Heyo! And in this video, we are going to be playing on the Division SMP. Now, for those of you who are wondering what that is, it is a lightly modded, whitelisted, invite only Minecraft multiplayer server. However, throughout this series, you may see some familiar faces, some of them being Pixel Rips, Zloy XP, BJW and Pepsi Clutch and also you may see some new faces that we haven't really had that much interaction with two of them being two Pigglesworth Pigglesworth I'm not entirely sure which of those is his actual name but I'm just gonna call him the Piggly Wiggly and another name that you may be familiar with but we haven't seen that much interaction with here on the channel is Fultron I hope I got that name right but for at least the beginning of this series and in this episode all I want to do is explore some of the mods with you I don't want to go ahead and list every single mod that is in this light mod pack simply because I want to share the discovery of each mod with you all as much as I can both on camera in a video and during a live stream but also I want to share the learning experience with you all and the first thing that I want to share with you is something ca called or excavator and all we're going to do is we're going to take this acacia sapling we're going to place it down we're going to take a step back and let's go ahead and just wait for this to grow because the ore excavator mod is very very cool but i think we're gonna have to give this little sapling some time to grow up to become a big and strong tree so why don't we go ahead and do that and also i'm gonna lay my head to rest to make it the day and i'll be back when we're ready to chop this little fella down so while we wait for this little acacia sapling to grow up into a big strong tree i thought i would go ahead and take this time to share with you all something pretty cool that is in this mod pack if we were to go ahead and take these logs and then uh, let's just go ahead and have the one floating in the air so then we can get a better visual on this so as you can tell the bottom and top faces of this log have the rings exposed however if we take a wooden wrench that is brought to you by chisel and bits then we can go ahead and right click on it and boom the bark texture is now on all six sides but once we go ahead and take an axe to it it'll then go ahead and go back to having the rings on it like you see right here now one quick little thing that I want to share with you, we're going to just leave that right there as it is, is that in this mod pack we have something called Staircraft, which is how I was able to create these oak log stairs, but we also have something called Slabcraft, and let's just go ahead and enter the NEI and type in... Uh, we're just going to go ahead and type in slab. So these are all of the slabs that are brought to you by Slabcraft. And I think if we were to take something called a diamond saw, which may be from the Chisholm Bits mod, I'm not sure off the top of my head, we can actually convert these horizontal slabs into vertical slabs. But real quick, let's go ahead and take a look at the stairs that are brought to you by Staircraft. And much like what we have for the slabs, we can go ahead and create anything and everything into stairs. Just for my own, um, just for the sake of my own memory, I'm going to go ahead and just check the chisel and bits mod. And yeah, so if we wanted to, to create vertical slabs, all we would have to do is enter the crafting chest menu, place the saw at the center, and then just beneath it, lay down the slabs, and then we'll be able to get vertical slabs from it. But it looks like it's getting to be raining, and the only way to resolve this momentary issue of dreary weather is to lay our head to rest. Wow, that lightning struck really close and make it the day. So I'll be right back with you all. Well, our little acacia sapling decided to grow up into a big strong tree. Finally. And now we're going to go ahead and have to chop it down. But it looks like we may have to pillar up to remove some more logs that are just out of reach. But wait a minute. Through the power of a mod called or excavator, all we have to do is take our axe, put it in our hand, Hold the tilde key, which is that key just above the tab key on the left side of your keyboard, and then, boom! We have the whole tree down in a flash. 
Now, as you also saw, the leaves decayed pretty quickly, and I think we have something called leaf decay or rapid leaf decay. I'm not entirely sure what the proper name of it is called, but that is in this mod pack, so we don't have to worry about testing our patience and letting the leaves decay at their own pace. Just in a moment, boom, they're gone, same as the tree. But also, the ore excavator mod can come in handy when mining. So let me go ahead and just take a leap down through here and evade the zambles that are just above and say I want to go ahead and mine up nothing but andesite right here. And because my mini map is so far zoomed in that's going to bug me so there we go. Say I want to mine nothing but the andesite blocks right here. Well, all I have to do is look at it, hold that tilde key, or the squiggly line as we like to call it in the Division Discord, and then BOOM! Now, as you just saw with the durability on my pickaxe, it will go ahead and chew through that pretty quickly. However, if you are careful with what you are mining and how much you mine, then that may not be so much of a problem for you all. But just to avoid any more, uh, just to avoid removing the blocks that the ladders are on, I'm going to go ahead and replace them with logs. So that way then, if we're mining, we don't accidentally mine it up with our pickaxe because we're going to need an axe to do that. So now say I just want to mine nothing but the coal ore that is in front of me. Well, all I have to do is hold down that squiggly line key and then BOOM! Now, if I wanted nothing but cobblestone, all I'm going to have to do at this point now, which should be fairly obvious, is just stare at the stone blocks, hold down that squiggly key once more, and oh, boom. Now the radius is a little... I guess we could say is a little much, and I think BJW was considering the idea of changing that in the config files so that it's not going to give us so much in one foul swoop of the mining session. But alas, for now at least, it's going to help us gather quite a lot of resources. And at this point now, if it wasn't obvious already, one of the main ideas for this light mod pack is to try and reduce the amount of grindy work that is needed to get our build on. And it's also to help us get our build on in more, than, in more ways than we could possibly think of through vanilla Minecraft or even with other mod packs. But at this point now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some stuff and we're going to get our build on with the power of chisel and bits. So I'll be right back with you all. Hey Ringo, you want a place to go ahead and run at? Okay, let me go ahead and begin to build you a place where you can run around and play at. And eventually, when we get you some friends, you'll be able to come into this little pen-like area and play with them just a little bit more. You know what? I think what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take my chisel from the chisel and bits mod. Okay, you watching me, Ringo? And I'm going to hold down the alt key so then I get this wheel that appears and I'm going to select the plane. And what this is going to do, okay, you watching? Are you paying very close attention? I'm only going to say and show this once. So you got to be paying attention. Pay attention, boy. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to look at this. Let's go ahead and just remove these two pieces of cobblestone right here so then we have the one and if I take my chisel and I look at a at the top face and I left click it's then going to remove the one plane of pixels at the very tippy top and that's why we have these chisel bits right here on our bar but I'm going to go ahead and relocate them so they're in my inventory and they don't occupy the bar and I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to remove this now considering each block in Minecraft has a total of 16 pixels. That's two layers that we removed. So this one now should have 14. And I think I'm gonna lower this down a few more levels, or I should say layers. So 13, 12, 11, 10. Does that seem fairly low? That's only two pixels higher up than an actual cobblestone slab would be. But because we can't recycle these bits from the chisel and bits mod, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw them on the ground because, well, if we could recycle them, then that would probably have 
be very beneficial not only to us but also to the mod because then we could reconstruct an entirely new block with them but since we can't we'll just go ahead and let them despawn when they're ready to so i think what i want to do now is i want to try and create some type of an arc but i wanted to go whoomp like in the shape of a U, if that makes any sense. But let me just go ahead and throw down these two cobblestone blocks, and I'm gonna do my best to try and create just that, so then we can have a pretty nifty looking wall. Does that sound like a deal? Okay, so let me go ahead and get my build on, and I'll let you just sit there and watch. Well, 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 Ringo, look at you and your playpen. It looks pretty nifty if I may say so, especially how we have these grooves going from one corner to another. And even over here, we have a slight little slope going on. And although I think it could be elevated by a few pixels, I think I'm going to leave it as it is because, well, we're just getting started with getting our build on with the help of the Chisel and Bits mod. And we don't want to get too carried away into something as simple and easy as creating a small slope within a wall. Yeah. But I think what I'm going to go ahead, Ringo, is I'm just going to demonstrate to the peeps how I went about creating these slopes. And then also show them a thing or two with the Chisel and Bits mod. So, if you want to just chill in your new playpen, then, well... Go ahead and chill out there. Okay, peeps. So this is how the Chisel and Bits mod works. For those of you who have no idea whatsoever how to use it. Much like me earlier in the week. <laughs> so I'm going to take my iron chisel. And I'm going to hold down the alt key. And right here I'm going to select single bit. And as the name states, I'm going to remove just one single pixel at a time from this cobblestone block. And then so long as I'm holding that chisel on my person, whether it be in my inventory or on the bar, and if I look at the block and then I right click, I'm going to place that single bit back. Now let's go ahead and hold down the alt key, bring up the wheel, and then select line. As you can tell, an outline of a 1x16 it is now appearing at the top left tippy corner of this cobblestone block and because I'm looking at the face that is facing me it's going to remove a 1x16 grid of pixels going horizontal yes I had to think about that for a moment and then if I continue to just move my mouse going across the top layer again looking at the face that is facing me it's going to do that however if I move just a little bit closer and then I look at the top face that is pointing towards the sky that outline is now going to be facing downwards or upwards but it's going to be facing vertical and now just let's just go ahead and remove some of these like that and this is where it can be a little tricky so say I want to place down uh, those lines those vertical lines that I just removed in order to do that so if I go ahead and select alt and hold down the line it's not actually going to place them down because there are no existing pixels so one way that I found to bypass this is you just select the single bit like we did at the beginning and just place one at the very bottom layer then I'm going to select line again and I'm just gonna look at the top faces and then boom then I'll be able to place down these lines otherwise I'm gonna begin to remove pixels from the block just beneath it and then that's gonna just create a lot of headaches and cause a lot more time to be wasted just trying to put together another block and not the one that I originally wanted to put back together. So now I'm just going to finish this up and there we go. Our cobblestone block is whole once more. Oops, wrong key. Let's go ahead and select the chisel to be highlighted. Let's go ahead and hold down the alt key. Now the plane is going to do exactly as it says. It's going to remove an entire plane layer of a block. So that's going to be 16 blocks going away from you and 16 blocks going from left to right, right to left, however you want to look at it. And just with one single left click, boom, we went ahead and removed the very top layer. And let's just go ahead and see that one more time. Boom. Now I'm going to go ahead and just place these blocks 
back and I'm going to make sure the plane is selected and so again by right clicking we can go ahead and restore the block anew and then we can pick it up and it's right there with all the other cobblestone blocks just to help reinforce that it's uh, a new once more now if you want to create some interesting little designs as you just saw we selected the small cube and then there's also a medium cube and a large cube the small cube oops wrong one is going to remove blocks in a three by three by three perimeter meaning it's going to go three blocks back three blocks across and three blocks up and then let's just go ahead and select small cube and place those back right there okay there we go and let's go ahead and see what the medium cube is because I actually don't know what that is it looks like it's gonna be one two three four five one two three four five one two three four five okay so it's gonna be three not three it's gonna be five blocks in total okay that's interesting that's interesting now if I want to go ahead and place them back let's just go ahead and do something like that and then if the small cube was three by three by three and the medium cube was five by five by five something tells me the large cube may be nine by nine by nine but that wouldn't really well no one block is 16 pixels let's just go ahead and test it for science there we go so we have one two three four five six seven oh why did I think nine? Three, five, nine? There's obviously an odd number in between, right? Right. So well, let's go ahead and place them back. But that is one way in which you can go ahead and begin to use the Chisel and Bits mod. And also, if you are already familiar with this mod and you've begun to create some pretty cool things with this, whether it's in your single player world or even on a server that you're playing, I'd really love to see what you guys have created with it. And if you want to share any screenshots, then you can do so by tweeting it at me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is at Vanilla Raccoon. And I think, I think that's going to do it for this episode because I don't want to get too carried away with the Chisel and Bits mod considering I'm still learning it with each passing day. So, with that being said, if you enjoyed this episode, then leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, then I invite you to check out the rest of it. But don't forget to turn on notifications when subscribing. That way you will then be notified when future Minecraft and other gameplay content is uploaded by yours truly, Vanilla Raccoon. But Ringo and I would like to wish you all a happy day and peace out.